hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be showing you how i achieve this beautiful one shoulder evening dress so let's move over to the cutting table i have my fa my fabric on the cutting table and i'll quickly show you the materials that i'll be working with i'll be needing the chalk the tape measure the scissors the ruler and of course the cuff sets so i'm going to set the items aside i'll move over to my fabrics i already have my lines ruled out on my fabric and um, i'll be working with the stretchy fabric my choice of fabric for this design is a lycra material and we all know that it is stretchy so i won't be adding zipper to this design neither will i have a dart on it so firstly on my shoulder line i'm going to measure my shoulder measurements the shoulder measurement i'm working with is 16 inches so because my material is folded into two i'll be i'll measure out eight inches and on that eight inches line i will take my arm o measurements the armhole I'm working with is 9 inches. So I'm going to note 9 inches. I'll connect it to a straight line. When working on this type of fabric, you have to be careful because the material is, uh, is just here and there is a bit tricky. If you have your pin, you can hold it down with your pin okay so i'm going to note the midpoint and on the on that midpoint i'll be take i'll be taking out my arm o cuff The next thing now is to take out my neck design. I'll be using the neck width of 4 inches and the depth of 4 inches. Next thing I'll be doing is to slant for my shoulder slope. I'll move over to the ham o line to take one inch for my shoulder slope. Having done that, I'll move over to the body now to take my body measurements. And on the bust line, I'll be taking my bust measurements. Whatever your bust circumference measurement is, you divide it by 4 and you will take your measurements. I won't be adding any allowance to this fabric because it's stretchy. I won't be it won't I won't be adding allowance to it. So I'll be taking the exact bust measurement. I'll move over to the waistline now to take my exact waist measurement. I'm working with waist measurement of 44 inches. 44 divided by 4 will give me 11. So I'll be taking 11 inches for my waist measurement. I'll then move over to the hip line to take my hip measurements. I'm being careful with the material so that it will be in place when I'm cutting it out.
I've been taking my hip measurements. I'll move over to my knee line to take my knee line, my knee measurements. I can decide to take the same measurement I took on my hip hip line on my knee measurement as well. Or you can just go in by one inch. You can go in by one inch just to make the gown fitted. The gown I'll be making will be having a slit at the side. It will be having an opening at the side. Okay. So the next thing for me to do is to connect the points together. I'm going to connect the points together. After connecting together, the next thing for me to do is to cut out. Please note that I will not cut for the sleeve for the arm O yet. I'm not going to cut out the neck design yet. Also, I won't be cutting the arm O design, the arm O yet. I will only cut out the side. So after cutting out, this is what I have. I've also cut out for the back panel. I, I told you I'll be cutting the same thing for the back panel as well. Since there will be no zipper. So I'm cutting the same piece for both the front and the back panel. So I only cut out for the side. I did not cut the arm, arm hole area and the, the neck as well. So the next thing I'll do now is to open the fabric up. I'm going to open it up, placing the wrong side together. I've opened it and I've placed the wrong side together. Please do not make the mistake of, of the wrong placement. Make sure that you place your fabric, the wrong fabric must face each other. The next thing you do is to determine where you want your slants to fall on the side that which you want to have your slants so this is what i have now i've opened it up and i've i'm noting that my shoulder measurement is 16 inches okay so you are going to determine the side at which you want your slant to fall on. Okay. For me, the slant will be falling on the on the right side. Okay. So on and on that side, because I don't want the breast at that point to be re, to be revealing. So I will be going up by one inch. I will be going up by one inch on the ham hole like so i'll be going up one inch okay i'll then move over to the neck area at the midpoint i'll be using five inches i'll be using five inches okay so i'll then connect
I'll connect the ham hole to the five inches at the midpoint at the neck area. So this is what we have now. The next thing for me to do now is to cut out. I haven't cut it out. This is what our one shoulder dress is looking at. This is how it looks like after I cut out. Okay. Then I'll be drafting for the sleeve because the other side will be having a sleeve. I'll draft the sleeve. I already have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve on my channel. I'll be linking it up in my description box. Please kindly watch. Click on the link to watch how I achieve a basic sleeve design. Our basic sleeve is ready the next thing for me to do is to take it to my sewing machine and couple each piece together so this is the outcome of our dress this is the outcome of the design thank you very much if you are yet to subscribe kindly click on the subscribe button below thank you and i'll see you in my next one